Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it's Diego with the lovely Karina here in Bogota, Colombia. High up in the Andes Mountains, 8,600 feet plus above sea level. Now, Karina's from Venezuela in the mountains of Venezuela, so this high altitude is no problem for her, but I'm from, from Florida and I'm used to being at sea level, so getting accustomed to this high altitude is in year one but I'm getting there okay now this video ladies and gentlemen is about updated information for the length of time that a police certificate is good for okay so come on along and listen up this is good information now you guys mr. sponsor miss beneficiary all around the world you're watching this video because you are going to process a k1 visa or you're in the pro or you filed a K-1 visa and you are waiting anxiously for your visa to get approved just like we are our visa our K-1 visa went to the USCIS service center in California back in April and we're heading in now we're in November okay so we're in March 7 if you file a K-1 visa ladies and gentlemen you need to get you need to submit a police certificate to the National Visa Center when you get to that point in your visa process, okay? From every country that you, Miss Beneficiary, you've lived in, whether you've lived or worked in that country, you need to get a police certificate if, you, if it was longer than a six month duration, okay? But here's a little bit of good news. On June 15th, 2021, so last year, last summer, the U.S. State Department extended the validity of police certificates to two years. Okay, so two, so it's two years. And if you're, if you have, an, if you have children over the age of 16, okay, or you, Miss Beneficiary, uh, you're going to get married to your sponsor. You need a police certificate for every country you lived in or worked in for lo for longer than six months. Okay. At any time, this is any time in your life. And this police certificate, once you get it, is now, since last summer, I'm updating this video, is good for two years. Okay? So, my recommendation to you guys, Mr. Sponsor, Miss Beneficiary, is to process the police certificates early in your visa process. Get copies, you don't have to notarize them and include the police certificates in your K-1 visa package. Are they required at the K-1 visa level when you submit to the not lockbox and to the service center? No, it's not required. But I recommend you include it to add some backbone, ladies and gentlemen, to your visa package when the immigration officer first reviews your visa request, your petition. So, no, so now that you know your police certificates are good for two years and not for the usual six months like it was in the past, okay, um, get, your, get your police certificates early and submit it. Include it in your K-1 visa package. Now, as long as you don't return back to that country, that police certificate is good. So, you know, if you have a police certificate in your hand and you include it in your visa package and then you're then you miss beneficiary, you decide you want to go back to that country on a vacation, um, you're probably going to have to get another police certificate. But it's less than six months, so I don't know. Probably not, probably yes. Okay. Now, for more information on police certificates, ladies and gentlemen, take a look at the State Department Reciprocity in Civil Documents by Country File. We made a video about that, but go to usstate.gov and look for the State Department Reciprocity and civil documents by country and it, and it lists by country uh, what the state department requirements are for police certificates okay it's very easy it's very easy guys you've got you got this you've got this now of course like all rules put out by the state department there are exceptions to the rules if you are a beneficiary from a communist country for example you are from communist china you will have to get a police certificate miss beneficiary from each city that you have lived in in communist china okay so if you lived in four cities and you need to get four police certificates from each town that you lived in okay like i said before it is, a, is a, an exception to every rule so hang in there guys 
Um, include the, the police certificates when you file your K-1 visa, Ms. Mr. Sponsor, and this will add back bound and strength to your K-1 visa package. It will tell the immigration officer right up front that yes, your beneficiary has a clean slate and your visa process will run smoothly through the process up to the National Visa Center where again at the National Visa Center level they will ask you to upload under two megabytes of data the police certificates and then through the SEAC system the State Department SEAC system and then when your beneficiary you miss beneficiary go to your visa interview at your embassy at the US Embassy in your country uh, then you're going to need to bring those police certificates with you and they're good for two years so check the date okay if they go past two years you're going to have to get new ones for your visa interview thanks for watching ladies and gentlemen boys and girls we're glad you're with us we're here for you we're going to help you through this visa process and we will see you in Colombia, Colombia and hopefully soon in the United States okay guys hang in there you got this